devil in disguise. Good evening, Cabaret Lab. Yeah, this is um, the last video we're going to be doing for a while at least, so uh, I thought I'll uh, go out with a bit of a bang and do one of my favourite stories. It's not one that I do very often, and it is, as you can see here, The Witch of Berkeley, starring all your favourite characters, of course. I hope you like it as much as I enjoyed it making it. Okay, this is The Witch. The Witch was uh, a large and jolly woman who lived a life of feasting and revelry. Uh, she had many sons and daughters and was well liked by everybody. Although one or two people had their suspicions that maybe something was up because in between all the good times, she never had any bad fortune, she never got ill. You know, and that's the kind of thing that would start rumors. But hey, you know, she was so popular, people kind of let it go. But then one day, her pet raven gave out a croak that sounded almost like a warning and drop dead. Now is my plough come to its last furrow. Now my times of rejoicing are over and my sorrows begin. The witch knew that her time was close and almost immediately a messenger delivered some devastating news. Her eldest son and his whole family had been killed. This hit her and she took to her bed. More bad news followed, more terrible things started to happen. She summoned her only remaining son and daughter, who were very devout and pious and lived at the local monastery. She confessed to them what she had done. I sold my soul to the devil many years ago in return for a life of wealth and happiness. I did it for you, my children. I did it for you, but now he's come to collect his due. You must follow my instructions very carefully. Soon, she had passed away. The son and daughter were instructed to take her to the church, which has just collapsed. <laughs> the church, oh fuck it. And there, she was to be buried in the skin of a stag. Why the stag? Virility to help fight against the claws of the devil. She was then buried in a stone coffin. Finally got the coffin. She was buried in the stone coffin. And there, three magic chains bound her within. The son and the daughter had to sing psalms and give prayer for three days and three nights. If on the third night the chains remained unbroken, her mother could be buried within the church. But on the first night, a horde of devils broke into the church <laughs> and snapped the first chain. The son and the daughter prayed harder and sang louder. But on the second night, the devils returned and broke the second chain. In absolute fear, they prayed and sang like they had never prayed before. And on the last night, the devils appeared but could not break the last chain. They thought their mother was saved. But just as it got to midnight, the door of the church smashed open. A stranger in black snapped the final chain, smashed through the coffin and dragged the living corpse of the witch. I cannot come, my lord, because I am bound. I will unbind you to your great loss. And there he dragged her out of the church and threw her onto the back of a horse with spikes on its back. On its fucking back, it was a neck. Turn around. Look, spiked, dead. Ugh. Her screams could be heard for miles around and she was never seen again. Yeah. Yay, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs>
up to my usual standard. But hey, you, you love them. You love them. You know what? These have been fun to make. Um, I am going to miss doing them. But I really hope I get to see you all at the live shows back at the Caroline. Yay! Ta-ta for now.